God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you now for Jesus. We thank you for the shedding of your blood that we may be able to come to you boldly. We thank you that through the shedding of the blood that we are able to receive forgiveness of sin. We thank you that through the word that we have the consciousness of sin that separates us from you. Lord, ask me as this word goes forth today that those who need reminding and those that need strengthening may receive according to the need. In the name of Jesus, we will give you the glory. Well, God bless every one of you. As our theme is, we shall overcome. In this next few days, we are celebrating those who have given their physical lives that others may be free as well as remembering others who have gone on into the state of the first death. There are some that will be remembered, and particularly, amen, today we thank God for Jesus, who has made it possible for us to be able to enter into the throne of room of God and receive our need. Very definitely, we need God, Jehovah, El Shaddai. We need God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We need our God, amen, the creator of the universe. We need God, who sitteth on the throne, high and lifted up. We need God who has received us through his grace and his mercy. We need God who is able to make himself so real, amen, that he even calls some his friends. As we think on the day called Memorial Day, It is a good thing to remember according to our ethnicity. There are some that are people of color. In fact, there's a whole continent of mostly people of color. From that continent, Africa came to a place called now the United States of America. There are three Americas, North America, Central America, and South America. Primarily, people of color were brought to Central America and North America. Others migrated to South America. However, in being brought to North America, there was a prime purpose. There were workers needed for crops. So rather than to hire, it was proposed, bring those from Africa and let them work the land. And so was it. Men and women, boys and girls, families were brought from Africa. Many died on the way to North America. We remember those today. Men and women who, after being here, generations, wars began to break out. Men and women died in wars to keep this land where others could come and know freedom. There is a number that has grown through years. And that number is the number of the aborted seed. Remembering that day, Memorial Day, 
I feel to memorialize the unborn. Boys and girls, aborted seeds. Even there could have been a president among the aborted seeds. Very definitely there were preachers among the aborted seeds. Businessmen, businesswomen among the aborted seeds. Soldiers, those that had other gifts among the aborted seed. But now we celebrate them because they're in the presence of God. Yes, those that were able to get through the birth canal into society and through the gifts that were given unto them, they developed their gifts and so society has evolved. Here we are getting ready to go into another time of change. And in that time of change, it's very possible that many will go into death. Why? Artificial intelligence is one of the ways that artillery will be developed more and more. Bombs, missiles, Will be, will be developed more and more. Many people will die in this season. But thank God for Jesus who raises, amen, the dead. And at the last trump, we shall be raised. So therefore, we acknowledge God in this time of memorializing and memorizing and memory, memory of those who have gone on into death. Death is an enemy. However, there is something worse than the first death, and that's the second death. The second death has a cavus a place to receive those who rejected Jesus Christ. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And there are many who have aligned themselves with witchcraft, Lucifer, the author and the finisher of witchcraft. They decided that they didn't want God nor any of his ways. So they have gone into death, waiting on the second death to receive them. But because of Jesus Christ, that doesn't have to be. But you can be among those who are expecting the great catching up. Oh yes, we shall not all sleep. We shall not all go into the first death. We shall not all sleep, but we all shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Let me invite you to be in that number through repentance. Repent and believe the gospel. If you want to be with the Lord Jesus forever and ever, maybe you had already started, but something hindered you, something stopped you, and now you what is called a backslider. If you are a backslider, let me say something to you today. You can get back to God. Do as David did. Get on the mercy of God. David cried out, Lord, have mercy. God did. And God forgave David. God will forgive you if you fall on his mercy. Ask God to forgive you and wash you and make you over again. Some of you, you're in a battle. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Get out of the battle and get into the place of safety. 
and that is in Jesus. I'm asking you to pray with me now if you want to walk with Jesus for the rest of your days. Those that need to, repeat after me. God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the shed blood of Jesus. Wash me of my sins. Forgive me for my sins. Help me, Lord, to do your will. I ask you to receive me now into the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for my name being written in the Lamb's book of life. Help me to live for you every day, one day at a time. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, beloved, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe Amen, and you are fully set to do the will of God. God will bless you one day at a time, and you will be ready when the trumpet sounds. And knowing in your soul, we shall overcome. For this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen. Those of you that are saved in Christ Jesus, joy. Ah, shake it, and I don't know about The joy of the Lord is our strength. Praise him for joy. Worship for joy. Call on him for joy. Live holy for joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Now God bless you until next time.